Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this quick video, I'd like to teach you why you should be thinking about a stretched or tension screen. Most of the time, when you look for a pro projection screen, you got two or three options. First option is a fixed screen or something like a cloth that they will sell you. And I made a review about this. Cheap cloth that you can stick something to like a wood frame or any kind of canvas style frame and you can pin it on and you can tension it by yourself. That's a cloth. That's nothing like a professional projector screen. The second thing comes to everybody's mind is the screen up top, which is basically I made a video. This is a regular classic cheapest motorized projection screen. This is three meter and it is same as the wall but it is acting weird, as you can see. What's the difference? This is Vividstorm ALR Ultra Short Throw Supporting Ambient Light Rejection Screen. First, of course, you see the contrast difference, but I'm not going to talk about the contrast difference and ambient light issue. So you can find white but tension screens too. What tension is actually a tension. Basically, you're just stretching the screen as much as possible to make it straight. What you're seeing with the ultra short throw projectors, they tend to project from 45 degree angle. And let me just hit this button. Right now, I am playing from YouTube. This is a long video, by the way. Uh, six years ago, 13 minutes of white lines moving. The difference between these two screens, other than the ambient light rejection and great contrast, that's not the point of this video. Here is a tension string, as you can see. And the system is metal, and it's just stretching the screen from the sides and bottom to up. So it is stretching from both sides, top to bottom, and also from the sides. So this is a proper flat screen, just like a TV. But this is not a tension screen, nothing else, just some weight at the end of it. As you can see, I can lift it off. What this does is it creates some sort of tension, but the surface is not equal. And what you see is a little bit more. I've just installed it like a waterfall, so it's not probably be a best installation of this regular screen, but many of the uh, regular screens tend to create some sort of a distortion because the light coming from the 45 degree angle makes it more obvious to show the defects of the uh, proper non-tension screens because they have curves. They are not perfectly stretched. That's why you're seeing this. And if I put the ALR screen down for comparison reasons and hit the back button, and I will try to change the, let's go back to the source, change it to Xbox Series X, which is going to play uh, Forza Horizon 5. I don't want to get in trouble with uh, any kind of like uh, issue from copyright. So let me just close the one light. Just look at left and right, how the car is distorting. As you can see, it's not coming straight. Car is distorting, bending all the way. So this is more obvious. This problem is more obvious when something is moving straight lines or you're running inside of a game going forward. Everything will bend. We can test it with a couple of applications, but if you see left and right, car is bending, you can see it. I will just change it again. Look at the left and right. Left is more obvious. It's always bending. Look careful around the sides. Everything bends like a like a probably ocean or a river it just bends goes away and it sometimes just it's so disturbing when you see lines right here as you can see the alfa romeo is just waving a lot so that's one of the issues let me just open up the tension and show it to you with alr and also tension screen it doesn't have to be an alr screen like this it needs to be tensioned for the ultra short throw. If you don't have a tension screen, you better use the proper white wall because it won't be affecting the visual 
just like the bending style. As you can see, no bending on the left, no bending on the right. Everything is perfectly, just like a TV, that, just like it should be. This projector is giving proper visual. But the problem is when the surface is curved, everything just bends with the curve of the screen. But if you're going to long throw it, I made a video about this, long throw does not show these defects of the screen without the tension. So that's how you want to go. But I prefer proper white wall instead of cheap screen. And I made a video about this. It's interestingly crazy. When you see it in that video, you can find it at the bottom of this video's description. It's probably acting 100% or 99% same as the proper white wall. And it has defects of curves and you'll see just in 15 seconds the problems around the curves it's just everything bending bending even this just look at this this is a straight line right this screen is a straight line can you see straight line at the end of the video that's interesting let me just close it and show it to you that's how the defect is the bottom line, look at the bottom line. This screen is proper flat. Up top, aluminum case. So even the bottom of the second screen, which is light hitting just with the same angle, passing this proper flat uh, top of the uh, Vivid Storm ALR screen, and it is not flat, as you can see. That's the bending problem in a real example with a very contrasted video i hope you enjoyed and i hope you learn again something i will create different uh, close-up videos uh, inside of a, inside of the video so you will see the tension mechanism it could be different from projector screen to projector screen and the screen uh, doesn't need to be from bottom to up also some roll down curtains uh, for projector screens they also have tension from top to bottom, like these uh, small strings and mm, kind of like a ropes. But uh, it should be tension if you are walling your setup and if you have the budget. Because the cost of the tension screen with the same amount of quality on the uh, surface is three or four, maybe even five times more. Even without ambient light rejection settings like this. So the material is not the issue. The mechanism is expensive. Material is also kind of like making the cost expensive, but definitely look out before buying something cheap like this. Don't go to this way. Either buy something expensive high-end or just use the white wall and uh, make your room dark as possible because no wall will distort your video like this if it's just regular white wall. I hope to see you in the next video, Home Cinema and Tech Review. Don't forget to ask questions that you want to learn from projection, home cinema and technology. I'll create different tutorials because of your qu questions and I try to answer as much as I can when I find the time. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you again.